I mean, honestly, we put in a lot of work. Uh, we practice hard. And um, we also get stuff done off the field, too. I mean, it's going to take chemistry and learning, watching film and whatnot. So just having asking those questions, like whatever needs to be fixed and so it can get fixed. But other than that, we just practice a lot. So. Brian, the shutout, what did that mean, first of all? And secondly, there was a, a play in the second quarter, I think, where Kyrie Jackson took his guy, he was blocking him, shoved him all the way back into him and, and got the tackle. Uh, do you remember that play and what was that like on the field for that? Oh, yes, sir, I remember it. Uh, Kyrie did a good job getting off the uh, block and making that tackle. And uh, that's something we practiced. And he just did it in the game. So that was really good for him. Uh, the shutout, it was good, but we still have stuff to work on. Um, it's not like we played a perfect game to me, so like just one game at a time. All right, let's get a microphone over to you before we ask a question. Second row here, Katie. For Jermaine, just how good did it feel to get that first touchdown in Alabama uniform and then just not one, but another uh, later on in the game, um, just kind of already be contributing to this offense? Um, honestly, it's a blessing. I'm just happy to be in this program. Um, I mean, I love the players. I love this team. There's no other team I would rather want to do this with. So, and I've kind of built that mindset around myself because I love I love the way this team works, and um, to be able to, you know, contribute to this offense or a team in any way is, is amazing to me. So, for for Jermaine, similar question, but just having nine targets in this offense in your first <coughs> game, just how much of that opportunity to have that sort of role factor into the decision that you made to, to transfer? Um, honestly, I don't even, I just, I don't know. I just, you know, I just, when I got in this offense and my whole mindset was to work and um, they seen a skill set in me and uh, they just want to utilize me. Yeah. It's great. Second row on the left here. Questions for Jermaine. Of course, Kobe Prentice had his first game, had a really good showing. Um, what did you see from him the week leading up and what did you think of his performance today? Um, I think Kobe is a great player. <laughs> I mean, he's a young guy. So at the end of the day, I mean, everybody has to get better and work and get stuff better and little stuff that they have to do. So, I mean, because nobody's a perfect player. So, but at the end of the day, like he works hard. It's like it's crazy. But you know, I feel like he has a bright future ahead of him. Jermaine, we saw some extended reps from uh, from Jalen Milrow. What, what did you see from him, and how much does he kind of like progress this off season? Um, he's a he's a hard working player. Like again, that entire quarterback room is a, you know, a hard work group. So, um, at the end of the day, I feel like whatever opportunity Jalen gets, uh, he'll do his best to make the most of it. And um, at the end of the day, like I said, we all have to do things to get better. So, but other than that, he has a bright future as well. Brian, just talk a little bit about the defense and what do you think was the biggest positive, the biggest takeaway from this game? Um, I feel like the biggest positive was uh, seeing everybody flying around and uh, do their job, really. And like we, in the fall camp, like we practice on focusing on little things and doing our job. And I feel like everybody did a good job of doing their job today. Uh, this is for Jermaine. Similarly, before I saw that you were still out there when Jalen came in at quarterback, how important is it to you to you know make the most of every snap you have out there and you know play out until coaches pull you off and say, "Hey, you're done." Um, I'm sorry. What was the question? Yeah. How important was it for you to stay out there when Jalen came into the game for Bryce just to get a you know few catches on that drive and then to come out of the I guess it's making the most of every snap until you know coaches say, "Hey, you know we don't need you anymore for the night. You're done." Um, honestly, whichever quarterback came in, like I like whichever quarterback came in, we would have the progress or the effort would have still been the same from the offense. Um, so at the end of the day, when he came in, the goal was still the same. It's just move we move the ball down the field. So uh, regardless of um, that, everybody, the effort's going to be great every play. For both guys, Bryce had a hundred yards on the ground tonight. Just facing him in practice and defense, and then obviously being his receiver, just what do you think of his speed and elusiveness out there? <laughs> um, we I see Bryce do that on the regular, so it wasn't really like new to me, I guess. And uh, 
just watching him be himself out there is uh, it's truly amazing, you know. Uh, playing with a Heisman uh, winner is like, can't describe it. Like, he's a true leader and, uh, on and off the field. And uh, I feel like he's still, this is the first game, and he's still got a lot more to uh, go. So. This is for uh, for both uh, Jermaine and Brian, but watching Jace McClellan move out there, him coming off the injury, just what makes him unique as a back, but also a pass catcher, just how he moves? Uh, honestly, uh, he's another great player that has another bright future ahead of him. And um, yeah, like ever since I've got here, like the guys on his team have showed me what they're capable of. So. Half the time when they just do doing them, I'm just like, okay, that's him being him. Like, as he put in, everybody put in the work for it. So that's just the results of um, you know, him just working hard to come back off an of injury. All right, last question. This is uh, for you, Brian. Uh, how much more comfortable do you feel in this uh, defense? Because uh, you started playing a lot last year. You started this game second on the human tackles with five. And then a the second part, Terry and Arnold got his first start tonight. I know you've seen him have a really good fall camp. Talk about how much he's improved and what you saw out of him tonight. I'm um, starting to feel a lot more comfortable than last year. Um, I feel like each each day, sp spending time with these guys, um, the chemistry just keeps on growing. And, and as far as uh, Terry on, Terry on has made a big improvement. And he's had a really good fall camp. And I think he played good today. And he he had a bright future ahead of him. So.